Today we are going to learn how to get started using Console 1 mixing system in Logic Pro. I'm Todd from Softube. Console 1 could be used in any DAW, but today we are going to focus on some tips on how to get up and running in Logic Pro with the best workflow possible. Let's take a look. There is no setup needed to control Logic. By connecting Console 1 mixing system, you have the ability to select tracks from Console 1 fader or Console 1 channel. You can see our screen show us track name, number, and color. You could control volume from the faders or select a track on channel and use the knob to control volume. We have the ability to control pan via the knob on the bottom right. Or we can use the faders to control pan and haptic feedback gives us an indication as to where the center is to make it easy to find. We can solo tracks, or mute them. On the left, we can select to use up to six different sends to our aux tracks, such as reverbs or delays. Let's select our guitars, solo them, and send to some processing. Console 1 fader and channel always follow what is going on in your Logic Mixer. If I use my mouse and collapse track stacks, you can see Console 1 follows Logic perfectly. Let's open them for now. Everything you just saw was done just by connecting the hardware. But let's dive deeper and see what we can do when we insert the plugin on our tracks in Logic. First, select all of your tracks and then drop the Console 1 plugin across them. It will take a few seconds to load all of the plugins. I'm going to hit my Display On button to turn on the on screen display. Let's select our drums and solo them. Let's use some EQ. And add compression. With Console 1 Channel, we have the ability to add tape preamp, filters, shape, EQ, compression, and drive. And with Console 1 Channel, you have the ability to load a second plugin in the second slot of the Shape, EQ, and Compression sections. Let's cut this resonance in the second section. If we decided we want to focus on only specific tracks, groups, or buses, we can select each of those tracks as a favorite and go into favorites mode where we can focus only on the selected tracks. This is just the start of all you can do with Console 1 mixing system in Logic. Thanks for watching. To learn more about Console 1 mixing system, head on over to softtube.com for more information.